past four. And on this Six Nations weekend, there's also a new version of the sport, Hugby. It's more about the hug than the scrum. It also pits cats against dogs, but it is opening up the sport to a whole new generation. To explain more, I've been to Worcester this week. Alongside Premiership Rugby, a new game that sounds completely different. The call of cat, 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 dog, dog, dog may seem bizarre, but if you're blind or visually impaired, it's the perfect way to distinguish between your opponents and your teammates. While the bell in the ball lets you know where that is. Say you're coming at me being a cat, and if I can't see you, I hear the word cat, 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 and you're here, dog, so you know the closer you are, get ready for a bit of contact. The sport of rugby has grown incredibly since it started two years ago when it was the brainchild of the Worcester Community Foundation. Now it's spread to countries all over the world, and this year goes to South Africa to make its debut. But why rugby? Well, as the sport was being devised, players wanted full contact rather than just a touch. Plus, a hug is a safe way to engage with your opponent if you can't really see them. Cut, cut. OK, and that's all the hug is. So Rico can keep pushing me for a little bit. Also, because, like, when I hug them, I know where they are. The hug is, so, like, careful, so no one gets injured, really. And you really get that energy out of people, and you just want to push them, and it gets your... It gets your anger out, doesn't it? It's full and so contact is, rugby as well. This isn't it? is full contact and it's different and it's enjoyable. Right. To make the game totally inclusive and so that coaches can join in, people with sight can actually play as well. They provide a range of glasses which uh, replicate what the players probably can't see, so it's just a pinprick of sight on that one. Some are total buckouts, but I've been told to use these, which, well, look, this is what Chris, one of the players here, can see through the match, and I'll put these on to replicate his lack of sight. Let's go! Dogs, 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 with little or no sight at all. It's really good, like, it's a really good feeling of, like, just being included. This is where the scoring's different when played on a proper pitch. If you get it through the posts, it's one point, to a certain height, two, and up and over, it's three. Hugby may be in its infancy, but has already transformed the lives of players like Kane and Matt, who lost half of his sight after a stroke. It was a huge, huge sort of boost it got me out of a hole of being anxiety and depressed and being active in sport really really helps back in the scrum it's another tussle between the cats and the dogs tackling the senses in a way that rugby has never done before yeah, it's great to see such a brilliant concept doing so well. There have now been sessions in Wales and Scotland as well, and the, the plan soon is to have some sort of league competitive matches between the various teams. That's good. Yeah. Uh, you're back with us a little later, Mike. Thank you very much.